let's begin. I will share my screen and let's discuss. Alright, so this afternoon we're going to discuss about conceptualizing a research design. So a research design is the uh, refers to the research methodology that you will use in doing your thesis or your research. So the research design will depend on the research topic that researchers are undertaking. So for example, let's say let's say that the research design of um um example. Let's say the research design of an anthropological study. So uh, I'll just refer excuse my screen class as I look for examples now. Sorry, that's my thesis of uh, grad school. Okay, so um, here we have copies of National Geographic, and then this is Dr. Victoria Herman, um, the researcher that I mentioned to you guys about last um, meeting. Nato sa kuan, katong first nato nga discussion on introduction to research. So, this Dr. Victoria Herman is a geologist, ge ge geographer. She's a geographer now. She took her PhD in Oxford, I think, and she's a National Geographic explorer. And she does research on the effects of climate change in 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 communities. So she has done research on kanong unsay kahit abo sa coastlines sa Rhodes Island. I think it's Rhodes Island or New York in America. And she has also traveled all around America now just to document the effects of climate change in America which I think is quite relevant kay like karon kay lanin niya man karon di ba class na kadong na mo ana lanin niya karon sa kalibutan yes no so right now we are currently undergoing a period of extended winters in the north no as well as heavy rains so so that's also one aspect of climate change and in the example of an anthropological study I'm just referring to these copies of Nat Geo particularly Kaninga copies Nat Geo actually I have a copy here excuse my camera no? I have a copy here right now if you can see my screen no? um, so we have like, this copy of And that is uh, I'm just trying to make a point. So my point here being that in an anthropological study, when we say anthropological, maybe we'll say or, or maybe we'll just refer to um mag to sila sa mga mga artifacts class, like going to artifacts in in the uh, Mayan Mayan remnants, no? Mayan remnants dito sa Guatemala. Lahi ang ilang research design kay maybe they are trying to investigate what cost, let's say, if their research problem or their research was uh, what is hidden beneath the crypts of ano, what's on isang crypts ni Copan. So, kanay class o, kanay the royal crypts of Copan. So, ang sige, what nila diri sa Copan sa una? Uh, what what is hidden under the royal crypts of Copan? So um, Copan is a is an ancient kingdom, uh, an ancient Maya city in in Guatemala right now, present-day Guatemala. So if their research problem is about what happened in Copan, what caused the demise of the city of Copan uh, in the ancient times? Then that is their research design is going to be different because they might. Uh, what research design could they be using? No, probably they would be using. A, they would probably use actual. It could be a pure research study. Sha class, no. What do you think? Out of the types of research we're gonna discuss, na to, unsaman nga type of research ng mag study ka sa kaniyang mga remnants sa kuan sa artifacts na mga remnants sa mga may 
ancient Mayan cities. Ang motto mo sa Egypt, magkalot mo dito sa pyramids. Ang sa mga type of research na siya, pure research, is it exploratory? Probably exploratory research design plus or exploratory type of research. Hindi na explore kung ano yung isa pa topic na wala pa nakabalo about it. So probably it's going to be an exploratory type of research na going to an ancient Mayan city, looking through the remnants of the cities na of the, of the artifacts. But let's look at the, the research design. So going to research design itself. Research design is different because prop, because research design refers to koan uh, siya. It would refer to the specific type of approach you will do or the types of methods. No? Uh, research design refer, refers to methodology. So types of research methodology. And in graduate school, medyo na gumol yun eh. We would have been uh, submerged in research methodologies in graduate school. That's more like the top my and sociology sciences. Um, I na po kato yung ago, seven, eight, nine, ten, uh, uh, five years ago. So, um, I'm a professor. I don't to learn many of the Anyway, um, so let's say the research design would be how are we going to determine same example class now or, or anthropological is an example but we'll use uh, an IS example later on. So let's say in the research on the ancient Mayan cities. So not all of our so called Mayan cities. Are you interested in in our archaeology? Archaeology, this class maybe this anthropology, archaeology. Are you interested in this stuff? No? Silence means no. <laughs> Just kidding. Anyone? Um, Stephanie, what do you think about this topic, Stephanie? Archaeology. How about Thea? Because for these people, the mga na geo explorer, okay, kaya nila kay, ko namas at sila funding, no. But I like how Seya went to thinking about the budget for it, which is tapat apil gina siya sa inyong ang proposal na kung masulat mo proposal kay ina na na gina niyo asan niyo ko na ang resources na funding mo na ng research. So and then Seya also mentioned about history, so. Um, it's difficult because yes, it's difficult because we have to also um, browse through so many books, so many like first-hand historical um, data no, about that place. So we have to. Hindi nang siya nga kung mag RRL tapay kani karon kay limited naman taang art our our RRL our review of related literature is only limited to online sources because of the pandemic but real researchers really go to different libraries no? different libraries around the world just to get that information because some information are not published online and often it would entail to actually going to libraries looking through really old like parchment papers and all that but just going back to the topic on research design class probably an archaeological study would involve um, Yes, historical data. So probably the design would entail for how. What would be the design? Let's let's decide on it, whether it would be qualitative or quantitative. It would definitely be qualitative, no? Doing an archaeological study because 
uh, history in itself is not exactly mathematics. History is quality is a type of a qualitative type of information. You would say the history is not mga primary sources, secondary sources. It's, it, it involves actually going to research about um, talk about history. So dili siya mathematical, dili siya quantitative, qualitative siya. So probably that archaeological study on what happened in the crypts of Copan. No? Crypts kay Copan siya. Lungon actually ito siya class. Kato ako hindi pakita ngayon na rin. Makita mga kalibiran siya. So, kaya yun lang kita na audit ito kay Uso din sa mga ancient people na yung mga king kasi lang mga lungon lungon class ng mga tomb dito. If you go to Egypt, okay, uso kayo sila. Dili, uso na. I'm just saying it in a, in a slang way, but uh, it's, it's really unusual because in their culture, they put so much emphasis on the afterlife. Because even in the Mayan kingdom, they also put so much um, detail on creating tombs or crypts. So in that, you know, in that research, it would be more or less like a, a historical study. So. Uh, that is a qualitative type of research design. So research design really talks or really refers to methodology. And um, what else, aside from qualitative research design, probably this would also be, it entails actually, okay, it's also a little bit of a quantitative design or a scientific field research design as well, because looking through archeological evidence class now, like um, going to the site, and digging through so many artifacts, that is also a form of like a pure research design. I'm not sure of the term pure research, pero kung Japan siya, scientific Japan siya kay date pa nila, ila pa ng tanap, ipaagi o mga testing, carbon testing to determine the age of those artifacts. So it also involves uh, an aspect of quantitative. I'm not sure if it's quantitative or term, but I would say pure research siya. Kaya nagamit na scientific na mga processes like carbon dating to determine the age of those artifacts. So, na qualitative siya at the same time that na approach aspect of your research design. So, it's a combination. And in, and in research, there is a term uh, called a uh, mixed methods design. So, uh, mixed methods entails for the researcher to make use of both qualitative and pure research methodologies not in determining the in finding out the answers to their questions in research so let's now go to the book itself and let's look through the information here in the text but this can also help you in determining your own research design for your thesis and in your other research endeavors in the future now if ever you pursue more a profession so in this chapter you will learn about what research design means the important functions of research design, issues to consider when designing your own research, and then the theory of causality and the research design. So let's browse through here. So if you're clear about your research problem, your achievement is worth praising. You have crossed the wall, sorry. Okay, I'd like to ask uh, one of you to read this part. Can we ask? Can um, uh, my presence in you? Uh, um, Elaine, yes, Elaine. Can I ask you to read uh, this part long? Yeah, uh, can I first? To Yes, Elaine. You're clear about your research problem. Your achievement is worth praising. You have crossed one of the most important and important sections of your research journey. Alright. So, it's clear, class, now that uh, trying to, like, narrow... Thank you. So, it's clear. Thanks, Elaine. It's clear that in in ano class in in thesis writing, um, clarifying the scope of your study is already part is already a huge part of the 
of the process, no? Okay, di ba nanotice ninyo ganina nga when I was talking about the crypts of Copan, I said that what is the research problem? I am trying to determine, or the question is, what happened in the crypts of Copan in the ancient times? Grabe, ako kaayo siya nga. Lawak kaayo nga kung na na pangutana na tao na ibagay mo. Anita po dito. So, kung saan man yung mag-narrow down na lang what happened, what is so pwede ni mo na kana siyang in that could be the overall research problem no and then there could be some problems such as why do the ancient mayans create um, elaborate tombs no for the dead so that's one ano so that's that's already part of the that's already a large part of the research process clarifying what you want to know because once you clarified it and this also can can um cascade to other parts of 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 the of your profession class no kani bitaw ang ang ang, ang, ang importante magikay kay mga tanan ko unsay problema okay. <laughs> let's think of a of an international studies topic no para mas ma-apply nato ni siya can anyone give an example of a uh, of a topic no it could be your own thesis or it could be another topic in IS because that will be what we will use for this whole lecture uh, kindly give me uh, an example of a research problem. Anyone? You can use the answers that you wrote in uh, quiz 1. Uh, if you can go to quiz 1 in your... I'll go to your answers as a quiz 1. <laughs> Anyone wants to answer? Give uh, an example of a research problem. I'll look through some of your answers. Quiz one. I asked you what to an, an example class. Now I asked you to provide examples of research problems under under the different types of research. So we have here one research problem. So we have, I'll share Shania's answer. <laughs> okay lang Shania, ako gamitan ni mong answer dali ha. Kanang kabalok sa pagamay ani nga topic. Kini dirita sa exploratory research. So uh, here's an example of a research question. How powerful is social media trending? Or how powerful is social media trending hashtags or posts in calling out world leaders to address prevalent global issues? I'll paste that question here for a moment. And then I'll share my screen now so that you can see. For students who just came in, Marb, please check the attendance lang again, Marb, can I check na ko ganina. Thank you. So, this is an example of a research problem. So, uh, how powerful is our social media trending hashtags? Ang atong ginalanto kay hashtag o post ha. So this is the focus of the research. Uh, hashtags or posts in calling out world leaders to address prevalent global issues. Let's say kana siya ang kwan. So more siya pang IET siya ang kwan. <laughs> pang IET siya ang research. Pero unsa may chata gyapon siya kay connected. It's connected to politics na. So. Um, how powerful are social media trending hashtags or posts in calling out world leaders to address prevalent global issues? Can you think, Shania, can you give one example of uh, of an event nga ning, wherein um, global leaders took attention to a certain issue because it was trending in Twitter or something like that? Yeah? Okay. People from Myanmar, 
when it's not written and extending na siya kay napin mga uban sa world leaders or mga diplomats in other words kawan silang stands about in ato nga about that na topic so I just want to find, find out na if or katong Black Lives Matter na may nanak so it's effective ba siya yeah. ay if kung say iyang nabuhat is kung nakatabang ba siya para masolve ng mga, mga problems great great thanks Shania I think sa Thailand, katong sa Thailand nga issue kay sa ilatong um, religious conflict, if I'm not mistaken. So, um, we have the example of Myanmar, now the coup that happened recently in Myanmar in relation to the detainment of Aung San Suu Kyi, no? So, Right, so when I um, unplug my microphone so that um, it can be heard sa akong recording sa akong phone, I'm recording this lecture na uh, gina-unplug gina lang ako, ako ang headphone kaya para madunggan siya sa akong phone. Dili. That's why ito ka mute sa I. Anyway, um, I think that um, what happened in Thailand was a religious, masigurit to siyang conflict. But yeah, focusing on on um, the, the roles or the the power of the power of social media hashtags and posts now in calling out world leaders to act on issues such as the Myanmar coup in ano, in Myanmar when Aung San Suu Kyi was detained um, I think was that due to the pandemic guys tungod ba to sa pandemic na murag, murag na nagagubot na mga tao I'm not sure now pero uh, if yes, you can just uh, answer that question if you want. So, and also not just in Myanmar, but also the, the issue in Thailand. Um, I think that was nadunggan ako to sa isa ka model UN tong July about sa Thailand the issue. Not sure it's a religious conflict to siya. Like during the pandemic, kay bawal ka no mag sugod o gira. No to ang, ang ang topic atong model UN atong jan, sa July nag appeal nag na, na to isa ka model UN nga murag nag appeal ko class niya. I mean sa Asia Pacific International MUN to siya the one that Shania attended as well per version 3 na ko nag appeal ni I was Russia and then, anyway long story short kay during the pandemic last year kay bow, get nice ceasefire nice global ceasefire pero I think sa Thailand na igubot nga ni tabo no nga Gipadayon gapo nila ang ilahang conflict na dito man mas kina ay global ceasefire. So sa under sa UN Security Council kay i call out na siya dapat. So I guess I guess was was social media that, um, instrumental in the addressing of those problems. Um Shania or <laughs> if ever wala if kabalo mo. Anyway, Kana siya, kana issue sa Thailand, sa Myanmar, as well as the Black Lives Matter. So, um, seeing that that's the research problem, let's go to the design. No? So, what would be the plan in order for us to answer this problem? So, probably the, the plan, no? the research design. So probably the research design could be what's the plan then? Let's think of how to get this data. So would it be qualitative? Kaya mo magiging siya usually ang overarching ang research designs plan kara sa quantitative, qualitative. So in order to determine what would be the conceptual framework, so good sa tasa sa conceptual framework. Idea, man, ginato makita usahay ang design. That's why important ang conceptual framework, as you, what you may already know, no? because it will help us create the flow of the study. So here, supposing that that's the problem, of course. So the conceptual framework would be what would be the input, what would we do, basically, in order for us to let's look at the keywords class, no. 
underline na to ang keywords una. World leaders call out address problems address issues so kani ang um, keywords so we want to know how powerful social media is kani sad ang keyword na power of social media now power, how powerful is social media in calling out world leaders to address issues global issues so let's say nga ang ato ang output. Maybe we can start out with the output first. No, pwede naman bisag unsa ang process sa paghimo sa conceptual framework. Basta ang atong output is the power of media, no? The power of social media to um, call out world leaders to address to address global issues. So, if that's the output, how are we going to determine the power of social media? Dere nata sa how. The power of social media to call out world leaders to address global issues. How are we going to determine that? Are we going to make a scale? No? Is is there going are we going to invent a scale to measure scale to measure the degree The degree to which social media, uh, to which social media can call out world leaders, or is there already an existing uh, scale? No. So try to research right now on Google if you are if you are on Google.com right now. Try to Google if not by scale to measure the the degree to which world leaders can be called out. Na anaba, if wala, do we need to create that scale? No? So, scale to measure the degree to which social media can call out world leaders. Because we want to determine maka, that's the output maka of the study. Nga kailangan, gusto na to may balan kung unsagid ang power sa social media. So, pues, to determine the degree of power of social media, we come up with a scale. No? So, the scale can be determined how. So that's the question na dayon. Scale to measure the degree to which social media can call out world leaders. Koan ba siya? Kanang high degree ba siya? Uh, low degree? Medium? High high degree ang social media? Social media has a high degree of calling out world leaders to address global problems. Or social media has a medium degree. Social media has a low degree of calling out world leaders. Will I affect? So that's the scale class. So now that we know and we need to create a scale, no? So, um, now, uh, how are we going to determine that scale? How are we going to get the information? Probably there could be an existing scale, no? But if wala, kailangan gimahimo ang researcher o scale ni ang gamitan, because this is, because this is, um, scientific, dilit ni siyang uh, kanang opinion na siya, pero this, we are trying to determine uh, an actual um, actual facts here, no? We are looking at the facts. So the facts say that there should be a rather like a measurable way, no? There, it should, there should be a measurable way of determining the degree of so how social media can call out world leaders to address global issues. With that, um, let's see here. So, uh, supposing that th there is not yet a scale that has been created, no? But at least research right now, class, if makakita mo, I will uh, give points to your research, to your RRL, if makakita mo ka siyan. Sa Google. Oh, plus points ko sa inyo, RRL. <laughs> Grabe, nagkit nga the incentives ba? Uh, allow me to drink some water for a moment. So yes, um, supposing there is no scale yet not to measure the, the, the degree to which social media can call out world leaders, let's develop a scale then. How are we going to develop that scale? So supposing that we have a controlled study, 
probably maghimo kita control research design ani nga wherein na ay isa ka mag-experiment ta class no na experimentation may tabo maghimo ta og kanang kana scientific method nga level no so mura gid sa invest uh, investigatory project sa high school na nate controlled group nate control group na food tay experimental group so pwede siya ha idea pa ni dili pa ni siya mao pero i'm just I'm just thinking out loud lang no. You can also add your ideas if you have any ideas. So kung unsay maayo buhaton, please um, share your thoughts, okay? So controlled research meaning na naatay control group. If maghimo tag jamboard, wala may jamboard ay atos tag jamboard class ha. Para mas ma-explain ako akong point. <coughs> So supposing that we are trying to determine the scale, right? So the the research the conceptual framework is that we're trying to uh, create a scale to measure the degree to which social media can call out world leaders. So since that is the let's try to like copy paste na lang this one day to parang siya. Claro siya na. So since that is what we're trying to determine. So since this is what we're trying to determine everybody you know so all right now um, so uh, we want to we, we are thinking of doing a controlled research wherein sa isa ka controlled na research na atay uh, experimental group the experimental group of Napotai control group. Pwede, no? So, ang kaning buhaton sa experimental group, control group, control group ni sila. Remember nga sa, sa atong, sa ato, um, sa quiz ninyo, quiz 1, na ato yung question about what is control, control group pa to. There was a question about control group. So let's say we have an experimental group and then we have a control group. This is already uh, the design here would be quantitative, I think. But we can also call this a controlled research. There are types of research here, but the design would be the research design could then be controlled research group, controlled research design. Uh, we can just refer to the types of research design, the functions of research design types let's look at types here proportion etc randomization matching eliminating the variable selecting a study design quantitative qualitative study designs in quantitative research so study designs based on the number of contacts cross-sectional before and after longitudinal delete mag longitudinal cross-sectional no delete na mao before and after delete po longitudinal delete retrospective prospective retrospective prospective nope delete study designs based on nature of investigation delete experimental ta so we are going to use an experimental research design okay so this is because we are creating an experiment all right class i hope are you following class everyone okay 
So we are trying to create an experiment to determine um, how powerful is social media to call out world leaders. So it could be that our experiment could entail for us to actually have so world leader subjects. <laughs> Pwede man nga ka na bitang maghimo ka ka ng kagubot ba? Maghimo ka kagubot nga gi-experimentuhan na nimo ning si Duterte kung iya bigin tanaw ni siya nga problema. <laughs> pero experiment lang siya. So imo siya gi-experimentuhan pero wala siya kabalo depende na no kung iyapin ni na sa inyo ang ethics ethics review ninyo nga kailangan ba nga aware ang kuan ang respondent kung gi-experimentuhan siya kay asay man good kung gi-experimentuhan nimo siya nya aware siya nga mo na imong ginatayog measure kay maka-affect na siya sa imong study kay dili na kaayo murag sincere ang iyang pagtabang kay kabalo siya nga gi-experimentuhan na siya so kan iyan na ang experiment no rag dapat kay na pay degree pero aware na yung uban experiment nga i-design dito na sa researcher nga aware siya nga nag-appeal sa research pero hindi siya kabalo kung unsa ang ginatayog measure para at least so let's say nga imong gi gi gihimo ni mong respondent si kuan na siya klasa out of the box gihimo ni na let's say we're trying we we want Vico uh, Soto to be the respondent would Vico Soto um 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 uh, take attention to this issue if ever but we are talking about world leaders here we're not talking about like an actual local politician so let's say um, what who would in an ideal world class no who would actually listen maybe the united nations maybe diplomats no um anyway there are no right or wrong answers and i know that we should think about realist realism here but um anyway i think my good class nga I've learned my good class not to think outside of the box lately. Kikani nang kung sigi kung baktan o my good og kana examples sa America class like sa mga universities like Massachusetts, MIT, like Massachusetts in MIT basically MIT or sa Stanford or like sa Harvard. Kasi kabuatan nila so murag yung ilaha mga kabuatan kay out of the box man po so murag um that's one of my influences. That's why. I tend to think this in, in this manner, but um, just to explain um, the thought process now. So going back here, um, let's say that in an experimental research design, let's say in that control group, we really have to test out the actual koan, the actual respondents, which are world leaders, because if we do not get like a world leader respond, it's not even a respondent, it's a research subject now. If our subjects aren't even world leaders, then that are we going to edit our research problem? Are we going to say power of social media to call out local politicians to address local issues? So mausab danan. So dapat sa sugod pa lang kung gusto na if we want to know that if social media has an effect on world leaders, we have to really look for world leader subjects. No? So here, um, let's say in an experimental research design, we we. Create an experimental group and a control group. A control group, no. Since in this sense, we will see that let's say the world leader who is like the most feasible world leader, probably ASEAN leaders, na siguro. Let's say let's start off with president because it's our president, no. President Duterte, and then uh, Singapore, Singapore Prime Minister. Grabe na give no. Target din mo yung Singapore Prime Minister sa mga experiment. Masa ako na ano yung mo. Sige lang ah, wala ba tayo sayop ano eh. Una una, rabi tayo sa dita. Let's say, ato pong dama, let's include China? No. No, I don't think that's feasible. Let's say, let's include the Malaysian Prime Minister, no? And Vietnam. Prime Minister ba sa Vietnam, Shania? Socialist, not sure. So let's say that's the experimental group, and then the control group would then be another group of world leaders. No? So we are trying to determine. Kanay na lang si Malaysian Prime Minister din na nang siya sa control group. Dito tayo si Singapore ang atong experiment. So in an in an experimental research design, since we are trying to uh, we are going to change that into an experimental research now. Alright, 
So here um, is experimental research. So here we're, we're trying to determine the scale to measure the degree to which social media can call out world leaders. So again, scale to measure the degree to which social media can call out world leaders. We're trying to develop the scale and how are we going to de develop the scale? We're going to make an experiment wherein we are going to see how much is the degree plus no so medyo taas pag ginisa na discussion actually na to man tay mga kuan 25 minutes left i think mo man na to ning discuss siguro but um here let's say the scale to measure the degree to which social media can call out world leaders we have to make a scale and the scale would probably be um let's to go to the next one the scale would would include low medium or high right scale makasha so if that's what we're trying to determine low medium or high simple na siya nga scale ha so low medium or high unsa ni siya nga scale again we're trying to find out a scale to measure the degree to which social media can call outward leaders So since this is the scale, that's what we're trying to look to create now. So the scale can be low, what type of low? So that is low degree, huh? low degree to which social media can call out world leaders to address global problems. So na is low degree. So both pa sa both nga kung ingana lang kag kagamay ang imong buhaton nga social media, would it be how would be the measurement what would be the measurement of that, right? So the measurement of that would be how many posts man, how many hashtags, or like dili man asya sa hashtag per audience, audience reach magod na sa Twitter kina aman na yung makita ni mo kung pila katao ang nakakita sa post di ba class? So either sa Twitter or sa Facebook mo or sa Instagram, pila ka likes sa ang low. So kana diyan at diyan na din ibuhat ang sa sa researcher kana yung itry o determine aning ar experiment. So, it's either iya ginang himuan o experiment no para ma-determine ako unsa di ang low, unsa ang medium, unsa ang high. So, it's the same plus no. Um, it's the same for medium and it's the same for high degree. So, um, That's grammatically correct. Medium degree to which social media. Alam mo naman ni. Okay. Medium degree to which social media can call out your views to global problems. High degree to which social media can call out your views to address global problems. Dali na dayo okay. Pano? Unsa ang degree? number of blank number of hashtags or of audience reach dapat specific ka ana ha blank number of of audience reach blank number of likes on Instagram saman Instagram and FB saman kana blank number of comments 
So kung maabot o ingana kadaghan nga tao nga kabasa niya repost sa siguro sa, sa Twitter specific na siya dapat class. So, um, number of audience reached, blank number of reposts on Twitter. So, mawala ba na? Kanang low ba siya? So, kung 10 na nakabuk ang nag, ang, ka, ang nag, ano, ang nakabasa sa post, yeah, 10 na po na nag-research sa Twitter, 10 na ang nag-like sa Instagram, 10 na ang nag-like F, nag sa FB, yeah, 10 na po ang, ang mag-comment. So, low ra ba na siya? Niya, niabot ba git siya sa huan? Niabot ba git siya sa world leaders if ever, no? Did it reach... Did it reach... Caught, catch the attention? Catch the attention of world leaders, right? So... Um... So now that we have this scale class, how are we going to prove this scale? Dili man nga himo lang pag scale niya ka ng 10 rap wood. Scientific baka? Sure baka? No? So nabay, nabay proof. So kani kay, dili na din masulod yung experiment. Nasi yung experiment, kailangan bagita control group or experimental group. How are we going to uh, determine the number of ano? So in your experiment, you might design an experiment wherein your experiment will entail for you that for this control experimental group, you create a, a dili magit siya create, no, kailangan, it's either imong tanawon siguro, kanit dili git siya experimental group, gani, pwede yung gani imong tanaw, rapag ka na retrospective po siya, so pwede po nga ang research design kay retrospective parehas aning dimension din hi class, uh, you look back on an event that happened in the past, and then you try to apply the scale so retrospective, prospective, we will try to use a retrospective study design. No? So in a retrospective study design, no, sayo na, sayo na. Anyway, we're trying we're just in trying to investigate and brainstorm dili pa manikan ko ang give mo give no we're doing a brainstorm here so in a retrospective study design we we use an uh, an event that already happened in the past and you don't exactly need to to create an experiment with these subjects in mind so realistically speaking it would be realistic for the researcher to um, come up with an event let's say we're going to use the event that I mentioned earlier the Myanmar coup no? or black lives matter na lang sa na anabay sa gibuhat ang mga mga government officials sa America after na daga na kay protests no so that's the question there black lives matter so in black lives matter um, retrospective wise looking back on that historical event last year what happened so in that uh, uh, in that event uh, the, the researcher can then um, in the, can then invent a scale, not this scale, or maybe this scale is already existing. If ever na yaning existing scale, try to find it out. But supposing na wala pa yaning scale na himo, na na himo. Um, using this scale, now the scale to measure the degree to which social media can call out world leaders. Using this scale, how many, how many. How, what was the number of audience reach on Twitter? What was the number of reposts on, on Twitter? The number of likes on Instagram and Facebook? And the number of comments on posts relating to Black Lives Matter? And uh, after that, after that uh, number of uh, after that number of social media activity was was um, noted during the Black Lives Matter in 2020. So probably the researchers will will determine that data by retrospectively go, going back no, to 2020 and like really researching all of the posts that they can get no. So kung ano retrospective design gitcha so pangitaon git ang tanan data in the past. So whether that be how are we going to look for that information? How to look for that information? Uh, whether that be going back, so that's like um, going back, um, searching online, uh, sifting through, 
sifting through Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Which is relatively doable. Magchali, magchali. So good if una una ni mo, no? Kay nara mas sa internet tanan, Instagram, Facebook, sa kwala and TikTok. Ni abut sa TikTok. Depende sa researcher na sifting through Twitter. How to look for that? Sifting through Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and then matching it to matching matching the activity, the online activity to. Rep news reports on world leader active on the activity on the reaction of world leaders leaders to the social media to the trending social media posts on Black Lives Matter. So in in yun din retrospective masang research design so ang researcher kimo balik din siya sa Kuan mo balik din siya sa unsay nitabo sa so while how to look for that information in a retrospective study they will the researcher will go back on online sift through the billions of millions of posts about Black Lives Matter and then trying to determine the number of posts as well as the number of reposts likes. And then, when the researcher will double double check the the amount of posts, the reach of the posts, they will then go to the news reports during that time, not last year. Uh, how many world leaders then reposted or um, signified support for racial equality? No. How many world leaders signified support for racial equality and or creating programs in America? No, to to promote racial equality. So, pila naman din ang nagkuan ang, ang mga dili lang si world leaders pero in this in this example magud sa sa American politics magud siya so dili ta mo ato world leaders but maybe did it catch the attention of American leaders, American politicians. No? So, specific to no. Okay, kaniman nga event Pati atong research problem kay ma change na pod siya the power of social media to call out American politicians, no? So mausab na tanan class kay nag-focus naman ta sa America to address racial issues. Okay? So I'll just share this in our classroom. How do you share this? I'll just do that later. But anyway, share na nako ni senyo tanan niya. So the power of social media to call out American petitions to address racial issues. Scale to measure the degree to which social media can call out American leaders. So ma change na siya. And in this research design. Do a retrospective research. Okay. All right. So, X na lang sa ni experimental. Kung ano ni siya park lang nato na sa dinha na malagi. Possibly ni na maghimo ta control group pero mas feasible ang retrospective na study. So after the researcher matches the online activity to news reports or actual na by my news reports or actual news reports or, or actual posts or actual um, social media posts and for official press release social media post sa paman ka ng interview Interview statement and our official press matching the online activity to news reports, actual social media posts, interview statements, interviews, statements, and or official press releases. 
on the reaction of world leaders to the trending social media posts on Black Lives Matter. So, daghan daghan ug tanahon ang researcher mag-research pa sa news reports kung unsay reaction sa politician, actual social media posts sa politician, interview gid mismo sa politician, statement sa politician whether that is in the newspapers or kanang um, interview na like uh, actual interview and or official press release sa politician on the reaction sa so, so American politicians, so trending social media posts and bangay sa other. Excuse me. And then, and then if nagingon yun ang politician, yes, um, I am going to. If the politician himself or herself will support um, racial equality, so that is when you can really say nga na ay power uh, social media. Excuse me, class sa kaya nagkong. Excuse. Charge ng laptop. Yeah, that yeah, that is when you will begin to to like affirm your theory. <laughs> uh, of course, theoretical pa siya, no? pero kung factual gid siya. Anyway, um, as I the point here is that, um, yeah, it is a retrospective. We, we will make use of a retrospective study design, uh, trying to analyze events in the past wherein an event in the past wherein social media was instrumental, no. In urging American politicians to do some to do something about racial discrimination in the United States, and with that, um, we will make use of primarily a retrospective study design. So, in the conceptual framework, we see that the conceptual framework will be a retrospective research. Then we will determine the scale to measure the degree. So, in the retrospective research, maka determine din ta scale. So, dito naman din nato invent our researcher. Kaya dito nadin siya mag invent sa scale. Depende dayon sa insay yung makita dito sa. So, maybe in the retrospective study, makit an sa researcher nga. Um, dito na din maghimo ang researcher og scale. So kailangan gyud po ninyo himo ng scale kay dili lang enough nga nakabalo siya dapat sad ma-measure gyud nato. So once na determine sa, sa researcher nga uh, so murag iabot mag 10,000 10,000 reposts sa lang wala pa kaayo gibuhat ang American politician kay gamay ra ang nag-react, gamay ra nag comment. So medium ra nya yeah, kanang 1000 likes lang wala pa gigibuhat ang American politician so low ra ang degree adto kay gamay ra ang ang kuan ang degree so kana sa class na may, we are then going to be able to create that scale na and the flow will be in that manner na so retrospective research to scale to determine the power of social media and then the other day him on conclusion so in that sense looking back to the research design there are many types of research designs let's just start with maybe I'll, we'll just discuss the types of research designs class now selecting a study design so um, differences between quantitative and qualitative study designs uh, only five minutes left now we'll just continue this discussion along on Thursday on Thursday we will discuss about um, more or less on Thursday, we shall discuss about um, uh, the continuation of, of uh, research designs class now, and then we are also going to try to start the discussion on statistics. So the next lesson in our syllabus is yes, the next lesson in our syllabus is on statistics, particularly um, how to analyze data. So there in Natasa, we are going to discuss about data analysis on Thursday and then next week we are going to discuss about lecture on instrumentation and concepts of measurement reliability and validity. So this Thursday we'll continue the discussion on research methods. If you have time, kindly read uh, page 94 onwards now in the book so that you will be able to read ahead. Delete na ko mag mag quiz class sa midterms pero mag exam ta sa midterms and yet na din ang assessment nato no so we will have an exam for the midterms the coverage will be research design statistics um, instrumentation and then validity reliability and then muna din natong last nga lessons for the whole semester din natin ta mag class after midterms okay mag focus na mo sa pagsulat sa inyong thesis so 
if you have time, can you read lang. Bilit na ko mag-quiz sa kuan. Ang atong midterm exam mo, na na siya ang, that will be the assessment for the midterms. No? So, again, coverage of the midterms is indicated in the calendar. So, that is research methodology, statistics, instrumentation, and concepts of measurement. Uh, methodologies, research methods, research design, na siya parera, research, research design. Um, on Thursday, we will discuss about statistics again, um, how to analyze information, na, and then on Monday, we will discuss about instrumentation, using surveys, um, doing focus group discussions, and then on Thursday next week, we will discuss about measurement, concepts of measurement, na, validity and reliability. Any questions? Seeing non class, um, can I ask lang siguro someone to share their thoughts about today and then muna lang three minutes na lang nabilin. So can I ask Can I ask, ano, Stephanie? Maka unmute kasi mo mic staff. Or maybe you can just write in the chat, Stephanie. Dili. Sige, how about um, Kaina? <laughs> sorry, sorry, kay, I think tanan naman din nakadis naka story ako ng afternoon, so namili na lang kung isa pa kung late nakaabot. Namili ko katong na asa so good sa lecture. Um, what were your thoughts this afternoon class? Can we have Kai? Yes, Kai. Thank you very much, Kai. That's uh, that is indeed the, that was indeed the discussion, no? and uh, I am glad that you saw the importance of the discussion of the topic. Of course, Dilit lang importance pero ang yung use, no? So thank you, cl class. That will be all for today. Um, if you have any questions, just reach me, no? And uh, good luck in your submission this Friday and on Monday. Please don't forget to ask your advisors about your ano sa ibot sa inyong um. Or, I, 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 I review sa advisors ang trabaho ninyo. Thank you. Bye everyone. I'll see you on Thursday.